Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I will show you a way to see some extra levels in the Tibia Drome. I will be using a 343 knight that has 112 in club fighting. I'm also using 2x life leech, 2x mana leech. As you can see, the equipment could do for some improvement. But one of the things I like to do is to use a gill amulet and a prismatic ring because of the high poison and physical damage. You could also use a Cochet's amulet. In this video, I totally forgot to use the prismatic ring. If I would use another armor with 2 times imbuement slots, I would imbue it with life leech and either ice or fire protection because of the high spikes from the minion Hodinia. The perfect scenario for me as a knight is to have 3 monsters on me and try to burn down one quickly before I get the fourth one. However, at higher drone levels make sure not to leave the Mermillion to the end because of its high HP. It's easy to run out of time that way. My preferred order to kill is to first kill off the Domesticant because of its low HP and that it buffs the other minions. I would then move on to Houdinion because of the high damage spikes. I would then move on to kill the Mariadion, but only if there are less than 3 Sicyrions. And lastly, I would kill off Mermillion. It does low damage and it loses a fair bit of HP when you kill the other minions first. And because of its low damage, it makes it the perfect monster to refill your mana on before the next wave. But be careful, you only have 2 minutes to kill all 4 minions before you are kicked out. The announcer will tell you when it's 1 minute left and then again when it's 10 seconds left. If this happens, I would go all in with Utito Tempo because getting kicked out and dying is basically the same thing. They both end your run. When it spawns two or more ranged minions, I will try to position myself in a way so that the pet gets to block one of them. Why do we do it? Well, it's because of the rewards. The rewards for Tibedrome is worth quite some good money at the moment. On Impulsa, where I play, the stamina potion is the most expensive one and it sells for 4kk. The double loot one sells for around 1.5kk and the bestiary and strike potions are also quite good, selling for around 1kk each. The rest of the potions sells for around 200 to 600k each. So why is this good? Only the top 20 players are guaranteed potions. 3 potions for 1st to 5th place, 2 potions for 5th to 10th place and 1 potion for 10th to 20th place. There is still a chance to win potion though as some 50 potions are raffled out among the rest of the Tibia Dromers. Here is where the cheese strategy becomes helpful. You get 10 points for every completed level. At 2500 points, you are able to buy a drum cube. Drum cube always contains a random potion. So let's say you take drum level 50 every time. It will then take you 5 rotations, that is 10 weeks, before you get to buy the cube. It might sound like a long time, but remember you can also get potions for participating. So go on, test your luck, and I hope this helped you to get a few more grown levels done. If you like this video, consider leaving a comment or even subscribing. I also have a giveaway running on Twitch at rundo underscore hs. If you leave a follow there, you're automatically in for the giveaway for 50 Tibia coins. Link will be in the description. Until next time, see ya.